Oma De Otitoju and Paul Dada. Wiki, good evening to you. Good evening. Mr. Paul Dada. Good, good evening. Good evening. And thank you for joining us on the program. Okay. Journalist and Girl starts now. Welcome back and thank you for staying with us. Let's begin with a fresh crisis brewing in the public university system in Nigeria regarding payment of half salary to lecturers for October. The Southwest Zone of the National Association of Nigerian Students, NANS, has kicked against the half salary paid to members of the Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU, by the federal government. In a statement, Nan said payment of half salary to the lecturers who are dumping their morale, which in turn affects the students. Uh, Biko, how true is this? Yeah, one, one thing that is significant is uh, the fact that throughout the strike, nuns stood by their lecturers. In fact, at some point, uh, lecturers, uh, they Nan's leadership um, insisted that the, the lecturers should not call off the strike unless they got firm guarantees that their demands would be met. So um, it's, it's significant that despite the fact that students have lost um, a year in the recent of the world, they realize that <clears throat> it's not all the demands that ASU made mm. that had to do with ASU. For example, the demand for the freshening up of infrastructure in the, um, in the federal and state universities uh, is, in my view, most beneficial to the students mm -hmm. because we've seen pictures of students receiving lectures while hanging on uh, windows and all that windows without uh, window panes you know some of them were sitting on the beer floor so if ASU is asking for universities to be properly funded and for infrastructure to be freshened up it's not that kind of demand is not as so specific it's for the entire university system and um, i think that as young as they are these students realize that their lecturers were fighting for everybody not just um, um, themselves you know, you know and when they demanded that the proliferation of state universities should stop you can't say that that's it's just uh, simply beneficial to us alone because that in itself has a way of bringing down the quality and content of uh, tertiary education in our, in our country. Uh, states are setting up universities that they can fund and banking on third fund to make uh, uh, some of the funding available. It, mm -hmm. Setting up universities should not be like a constituency project whereby every National Assembly member wants a university cited in his uh, constituency so that he can hold that one up as a major achievement. But how about the funding of those universities? The more universities we have, the more difficult to fund they become. Some of the problems that we now have today were not there when we didn't have this many universities. It's not how many those universities are that matter. It is the quality of instruction, it is the quality, the, the, the quantum of funding available to them uh, that, that is most important in my view. All right, Paul, um, as was accused to the federal government of an attempt to turn them into casual workers, is this the case with this poor rata payment? Yes, I, I agree with ASU on this issue. Uh, because um, if you look at other unions that have gone on strike before. Within a year of uh, this kind of thing, pro rata payments, they were paid. So why is it that ASU is being paid this way? It looks like um, it's a kind of uh, grudge. 
you know, that, that's the way it's looking, that the kind of grudge from the part of the federal government. But we don't need all of that now. As this student said, if you are not encouraging the, the lecturers and then it's about their morale, they may not give, give their best. Already, of course, I know that we have a, the, a case is still in court, the no work, no pay case is still in court. But I, I just hope they, will have, they have to find a way of resolving all these, all these issues. You know, we don't want to hear of another strike. And even if they don't go on another strike, what about the quality of teaching they'll be given under the circumstances? I just hope that uh, F FG will see wisdom and find a way around it. <coughs> All right, then, Mikhail, what will it take um, the Ministry of Education to write to the Ministry of Finance to, for, for, or any agency concerned for the salary of this lecturers to be restored? I don't even, I don't even think this is... Um, I don't think we could blame this on the Ministry of Education because I know that the Minister of Education from the beginning wanted the salaries of these mm -hmm. teachers paid. It was the president that... Uh, kicked against it. So Adamu Adamu, you may accuse him of not handling this matter well as the employer of those striking lecturers. But he indeed wanted their salaries paid because that is always the tradition. Even under a military rule, the sort of thing that some people have introduced now was, was not the case. I mean, uh, we, this is not the sort of um, uh, misunderstanding that you emerge out of it, you know, making your chest wider than uh, it is and flexing muscles and behaving like a Greek <laughs> god. No, it's the, this, is, this is a national issue. We want industrial harmony in our universities. We want the quality of instruction in our universities to improve. We want the quality of infrastructure in our universities to improve. We want the proliferation of state universities to stop. Some of them can't even pay salaries of their workers. Mm -hmm. The other day, one of those state universities were, uh, was owing medical staff of a state university some money, some, some months, months of unpaid uh, salary. So if you, if you fail to pay doctors, medical doctors, are you not endangering no, the lives of uh, uh, patients? Mm -hmm. I mean, so uh, those who are saying these states should stop this idea of simply setting up universities all over the place, I think they are right. And as I suggested before, there ought to be a moratorium. If a state insists that it must set up a state university, let there be a moratorium whereby you don't get any form of funding until after six years. Let the state singularly fund Point. that university on its own before running to third fund. You go to some of those state universities, you see that it's largely third fund buildings that are there. So where did you get the cheek to set up a university when even to put structures in place there, you can't do it. That's the most basic of all. You can't even do that. So it's just third fund buildings that are there. And third fund itself, Nigerians need to know that third fund itself is a product of ASU strike. ASU went on strike, demanded for third fund. Today, even state universities are benefiting from third fund. So is it a surprise to anyone that some state universities were firmly in support of this strike? They remained in solidarity with their colleagues, uh, the federal universities, right up to the end because they know that some benefits have come to them um, through um, uh, previous uh, ASU strikes. Right. Thank you very much, Bikio. Let's quickly take our first caller for the day. Kolawale from Lagos. Hello, Kolawale. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much for the good work that you do on CBC. It's, uh, uh, we almost thank you uh, as a nation. I am, however... Uh, a bit disturbed the, your approach to the ASU issue. Uh, the federal government has been irresponsible, no doubt about it. 
uh, in terms of managing education, <coughs> particularly surgery education. But uh, as you're going on eight month strike and expecting to be paid, uh, right. of um, thank you very much, Kalawale. And gentlemen, let's move on to more worrisome issues. The spate of kidnapping on the Lagos Ibadu Expressway is becoming more worrisome despite the cries for urgent intervention. Suspected kidnappers have attacked another set of passengers traveling on the expressway. According to reports, the gunmen came out of the bush and started firing at passengers of an 18-seater bus in the Shagamu area of the highway. Because this is really getting closer than we thought. Yes, um, yesterday we were talking about this and um, the need uh, for governors of the southwest states to get down to brass tacks on this matter. I didn't know that about the time we were sitting here, they were attacking people, I think around 540 or so.